right guys so i thought this might be interesting uh if you see what's uh my steam deck is actually saying now uh, so i managed to get the adrenaline software working and it does recognize the amd radeon rx 670 graphics it took a bit of time to get this working but it's working now you see it's actually recognizing amd radeon rx 670 graphics as you can see it says cpu's amd custom apu 0405 so this is the official one and you can see that's the adrenaline software and i'll show you that everything is working uh, vivid gaming i'll show you the other stuff as well so it says input device use default uh, output device use default and where it says uh, here processor selection uh, right about there it does say amd it says gpu uh, then amd Radeon RX 670 graphics. Right, uh, let me get into everything else. Uh, preferences, devices, the AMD link stuff, the hotkeys, the, where we just came from. If I go to home, you see, it's all working. That's the software, it's all working. Showing the last games I played War Robots Frontiers, Call of Duty 3, Modern Warfare, War Robots. If you go to create, see all the games are in here. The games I've got installed on my Steam Deck. And if I go into a game, it actually shows you. So I, I've been in here, I was changing a few things uh, because, well, uh, let me just see if there's anything else in here that I can look at. Uh, okay. It's not that interesting, but anyway, um, I want to try and get into this thing. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Something into full. Right. Uh, I think I want to go into graphics. So I've got this one. I'll try and make this smaller just to make sure it fits. So you see, this is just additional stuff. So all of this is uh, AMD. So it's custom, obviously, because I changed a few things. Applications that will show all the games. Uh, display, you know, what the displays do. I use Vivid Gaming. Performance. And obviously the the overlay i mean the interval sampling interval i use 1.75 but what i'm actually interested in now because i've got this up and running uh, i want to test this like on a game now you know so i want to test this in in a game on the steam deck right so what i'm gonna do is i just need to get my game pad of uh, course Put my game pads on uh, my laptop, so I'm just gonna disconnect the cable. It takes like two seconds. Then I'm just gonna connect my Steam Deck. Uh, connect my DualSense controller to the Steam Deck. I want to test it. I want to test it in a game. I just want to see uh, if there's any difference. I mean, now that I've got this um, recognizing the adrenaline software. I just want to see if there's going to be any difference, you know, like in terms of gaming. I'm not, I'm not expecting a huge difference, but I'm, I'm curious to see um, what the graphics would look like. I don't think it will be any difference, but I just want to find out, you know. So you can say I'm just, I'm kind of curious. Right, so I'm still uploading some videos uh, through my, uh, I, I told you guys I got the phone called uh, M6 Pro today. It's a good phone, but the video quality is not as good as I thought it was going to be, you know. Because, you know, I, I do compare it to my iPhone. And I think the 14 Pro Max does a much better job in terms of recording. It's just, it's clearer. 
So, I mean, I, I still like the phone. I'll, I'm still going to use it for, you know, as a second a secondary phone. And obviously, uh, I think the problem is it's not, it's maybe because it's still a new phone, but I, I find like it doesn't uh, zoom in um, the way I thought it was going to zoom in. You know what I mean? It's not, the zoom in quality is not that good. Do you understand what I mean? not as good as I thought it was going to be. So I'm kind of, I'm slightly disappointed by the video quality. It's not as good as I thought it was going to be. But then at the same time, I mean, like I, like, like I keep saying, it's uh, because it's still, still like uh, a new device for me and I'm still learning about the, I'm still learning about uh, the, the, the quality of uh, game games. Uh, so basically, I'm still learning about the. Uh, right. So sorry if if I'm not talking much, it's because I'm actually looking. I'm still uh, uploading about nine videos, and uh, they're taking quite a bit of time. I mean, the videos I'm uploading are quite big. You know, they're not uh, small videos. They're They will take time to upload. Right, so the main thing I want to do now is I'm going to load a game. Uh, I just want to see the quality of the gameplay. I'm not going to play uh, Call of Duty because, you know, I, I already told you guys that that game stutters quite a bit on the, on the Steam Deck. So my laptop is over there. That's the one I was using to play Call of Duty before. Um, I told you guys how I feel about that. It's, it's just, I wasn't trying to say anything bad. Uh, that's my other gaming monitor. That's a uh, Acer monitor. Uh, this one is the gaming monitor, that one. So what I'm going to do is put this down for a second. I'll show you everything that I use uh, when, I'm, when I'm about to game. Uh, this is Windows Mobility Center. I don't know if this is actually connected to a speaker. Uh, I think the thing is because I, I I had to restart the I had to restart my deck and I think that's why uh, my Steam Deck. So I think maybe that's why it disconnected uh, from the Bluetooth speaker or something like that. Right. Uh, so it's actually saying. Right. I don't know. Uh, let's see. Oh, it dual sense. You see. So it's actually gone to the dual sense. So I think that's what happened. Right. So. Right, let me see, because it's supposed to connect to a um, to a sound system. Right, um, I see what's happened. So when I connected the DualSense controller, it now thinks the DualSense controller is a speaker. Uh, so I'm wondering, I need to get into Bluetooth settings actually. I don't know how to get into uh, Bluetooth, because I can't find the Bluetooth section. It says so like display, sound, and nothing else. Uh, Alexa, Bluetooth. Searching. Right, so I'm gonna see if uh, if if uh, I can connect it to my to my uh, uh, Alexa. I just echo that, so let's see if it's going to allow the connection. Right, it it might it might need another restart, like a re, another reboot, and then I think that it's just gonna be quicker because it's not it's not really gonna do what I want it to do, right? Okay, so let me just uh, re, re, restart the Steam Deck. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Um, so basically, I'm re I'm rebooting the Steam Deck, and uh, I just want to see how. I just want to see um, if that's going to fix the sound. Because basically, you know, like I, I connected the DualSense. So it's 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 thinking the DualSense uh, gamepad is a, is a speaker or a microphone or whatever it's thinking. So I have to do this again. Right. So if you if you notice, I don't know if, if I can show both. No, it's not going to show. But you see. Both monitors are actually showing that they're connected, right? So the A 
give some money to the one at the top and the, the one at the bottom is actually my uh, my I don't see anything to connect. Check the device you'd like to use and make sure Bluetooth is turned on. To set up a new device, go to your Alexa app. Okay, right. Uh, so I'm having issues again with the, the monitor stuff. Right, uh, let me try and get these. Right, you know the way I, I, I fix this. Let me let me remove the cables in the back because I don't know what's why it's doing this, but it, it just happens, and then I have to kind of uh, put. Um, so let me just fix the the monitor on the screen. Then I'll show you guys what I'm doing. Uh, I hope this is showing the Steam Deck. Right, so, right, so I fixed it. So what I do now is I'm gonna reconnect the HDMI cables in the back. I mean, onto the hub. I'm using a hub. Uh, the hub actually allows uh, the connection of two, sorry, it actually allows the connection of two uh, HDMI cables. So I'm just gonna reconnect the cables uh, I think it's a setting that I that I used on the AMD uh, on the adrenaline, and I think that setting that I actually I changed is what's causing this uh, this issue. Right, it's it's gone all wonky. I don't know what's going on with this other screen. Right, I have to go back into settings. I think it's uh, I don't know why it's doing this. Right, I've gone back into the sound thing. I don't want this now. I actually want display. Right, let me get into display. Identify, one and three. I don't know why this is happening. Like, it's just like everything is upside down type of thing, you know? So, I mean, it's, it's kind of working. Right, so I managed to get it back uh, uh, proper. So I'm going to try and duplicate one and three. So that's the Steam Deck and the Acer, but it's not it's not working properly. So I'm gonna revert that back. It's not working the way it should be working. It keeps putting the my uh, Acer monitor like it keeps putting it upside down. Uh, that's the Steam Deck, guys. So right. So um, the Steam Deck doesn't have an issue, but the problem I'm having. Is that uh, it's if I say uh, duplicate one and three, it puts the Acer monitor upside down like the display. So I'm gonna say keep changes, then I'm gonna say extend, and see if that helps. So if I know you guys can't see what I'm doing, it's because I'm trying to get this uh, to duplicate one and three. So I, I want the the monitor at the top to actually reflect the Steam Deck. It's not working the way I want it to work. It's, it keeps putting that monitor upside down. So what I'll do basically is, let me, let me just leave it as it is. It's not letting me do what I want to do. So I'll just uh, quickly show you guys what it's doing, you see? So it's, it's not letting me um, create that, uh, that duplicate thing, you know? I can't duplicate one and three, you see? So I'm just showing you guys what I'm doing. I was trying to duplicate one and three, but what it does with the Acer monitor, it puts it upside down, and uh, the one and two, uh, I mean, they they are normal, like um, what what you call it, portrait view, where, where is the three is upside down. So <laughs> I, I don't know why it's doing that. So I can't extend it. Anyway, it doesn't matter because at the end of the day, I mean, I might as well just keep them like this. So. Right, so Steam Deck is one, this is two, and that's three. Right, so it's having me go in that fashion. I don't want to do it that way. So I'm going to put the Steam Deck first. Let's click apply. So going from the stick to Steam Deck, then going. So it's one, three, and two. So two is the AOC gaming monitor, and then three is Acer, and then one is Steam Deck. So I'm going to leave it like this solely because it's just giving me a headache. I don't know how to fix it at the moment and it's quite late and I, I don't
want to be stuck here trying to solve something that I can't understand. Right. The the most the main reason why I'm making the video isn't for that. I'm just showing you guys that I, I managed to get the, the AMD Radeon RX 670 graphics uh, working with the adrenaline software. So as you can see, this is clearly, this is on the AOC gaming monitor. Um, so let me try and uh, get uh, Radeon uh, to show up. Ah, this is weird. Okay. Uh, right okay so i do i do have adrenaline software right okay okay so i had to i had to go all the way uh back to one just to get this uh this software uh it was actually on the steam deck right so from what i can tell you see so the software is working perfectly i i don't know what's happened to the file explorer you know this bottom part is gone I need to restart the Steam Deck, so I don't know. It it just does this weird thing where it's always creating problems, man. But anyway, I'm using Radio in Chill, uh, Radio on Image Sharpening. I actually want to test the game, but it's making everything hard, you know, like difficult for no reason. So okay, fine. The most important thing here, guys, is I've got AMD. Uh, adrenaline software working and the good thing is it's actually recognizing the it's actually recognizing the thing sorry let me how do i get to that um thing which shows all of the well, i'm gonna go to graphics display right this isn't what i'm looking for so let me check to see yeah here it is Right, so in the adrenaline software, it's actually showing you there's two things. The GPU is the AMD Radeon RX 670 graphics. The CPU is AMD Custom APU 0405. So clearly the graphics is the RX 670. So I've been looking for this graphics uh, thing on the internet. I can't find it. Um, I can't find it as a, as a mobile mobile device it's actually like a computer card device but anyway i'm just saying i think maybe they, they might have changed the name you know i think i think it's possible that um, when they modified the driver because remember amt did customize the driver for the steam deck so i think what they have done is they may have taken um because I've, I've had this theory for a long time. You know, the RT, the ATI, uh, it's a very old, uh, it's the older graphics type of card. Graphics card, these were the older graphics cards back in the day. And you, you know, Radeon was always good at playing games. The AMD cards were always better than Nvidia back in the days. So I have a theory that this RX 670 is not a actual RX 670. Do, do you know what I mean? I think it's um it's an ATI graphics card. It's one of those older generation type, you know, like the 7970, with actually that used to come with the two gigs of VRAM. I mean, this does clearly say four gigs. You can see it there. It's uh, 4,096 megabytes. The VRAM is four gigabytes. But I don't think the reason why I'm saying this is because I can't find AMD Radeon RX 670 graphics anywhere. On the internet it's it's like it simply doesn't exist so that's why i think this is a modified driver because it might not be new you know it's not a current thing i think it's like an older it's an older card that um it's still uh, that valve may be using you, you know what i mean right so let me just uh this all this doesn't matter now let me just um right i i i just don't know where the sound's gonna come from there right so i'm actually gonna be using uh bye we will be using my acer um my acer i think laptop um sorry my acer monitor just to open up programs and i'll be dragging them to this monitor so you guys can see what i'm doing i clicked on uh 
Right, so Omer is opening on one. You know what I'm thinking? Actually, let me change the layout. I'm going to change the layout solely because, um, you know, let's see, one, three. I'm going to put three here instead. I'm going to put it like this. Now, the reason why I'm doing that is because it's, it's just, um, it's giving me a bit of a headache. So now, okay, <laughs> this is weird. You know what it's doing? It's going uh, straight, it's going to my Steam Deck and then it's going to my, uh, to the other one. But you know, the, the main reason why I actually prefer it this way is because now, see, I can just drag and drop. I can just bring this here, right? So this is Omen Gaming Hub. I'm gonna use the optimizer in this. I'm gonna use the booster just to boost this. All these programs that you see running in here are actually running on a Steam Deck. So this uh, monitor is just connected to the hub. You understand? So don't think that anything here is external. It's, I mean, like, it's not part of the Steam Deck. I use two monitors. The Acer monitor is was, like, supposed to be um, the second screen for the Steam Deck. But that's um, for whatever reason. I think it's just because of some of the stuff I've done. Right, so it's actually rebooting the Steam Deck. So for some reason, it's refusing to duplicate one and three. So that would have been Steam Deck and the Acer monitor. So I've had to extend the desktops. So that that, that means basically the, the Steam Deck is the main mo monitor. And then the two monitors, these are Acer and the AOC gaming monitor uh, are external uh, displays. That are just simply connected to the Steam Deck. So what that does is it gives me the ability to then put programs, you know, like I told you, I don't like bloatware on the Steam Deck because um, the programs are too big and they clutter the screen for the Steam Deck. It's quite a small screen, whereas these uh, ESA monitors and uh, AOC gaming monitors are quite big. So I can actually remove the clutter off the screen for the Steam Deck and then I just leave Steam there, and when I start the games, uh, all you guys see is the, the, the Steam store, and obviously the game starting. You see, you don't see the programs that I'm actually using in the background. So I'd normally use Mobility Center, and I'd normally use um, I'd normally use a, a AMD. Uh, you know, the, the sound thing is not there, but it doesn't matter. You know, the thing is. Let me just get a game running because I, I don't know. I don't know. Just keep just saying this like sound, sound. It doesn't matter. Um, I know this. There is sound. I'll, I'll just need to figure it out. I, I'll, I'll, I will figure it out. I will, I will find it later on. I know I will figure out what, what's going on and then I will be able to sort it out. But right now, my, my main concern. It's just getting, you see these programs, that's just Windows, that's uh, Mobility Center, this is for resolution. Uh, my main concern right now isn't uh, all these other things, it's just so that I can test, I want to test the game. So I, I, I just want to test any game. I'm going to test War Robots Frontiers, to be honest. I want to test that game. Um, I know it works. I made videos about it. I told you guys how to run it to only use medium and I, I told you the reason why I said medium uh, solely because th there's no other point of running um, all these other programs on it uh, because I mean you, it, it, it uh, World of Frontiers will play uh, on uh, high graphic settings it will play on high graphic settings but there's I don't feel like there's a point. I mean, I, I don't see a point in actually using um, high um, high graphics settings solely because uh, solely because um, I, I just don't see a point. You know. Right. This thing was just giving me a headache. This is AMD Power Control Panel. I need this because that's how I'm going to overclock the Steam Deck, right? So I've, I've basically got everything I need. I've got DS4 Windows, I've got um, the one in the middle, 
the one you see with all these weird uh, utilizations and stuff is just my power plant. That's what I use. And, um, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's part and parcel of overclocking the Steam Deck. Right, so I'm going to use, I'm going to be playing uh, World of Frontier, so I'm just changing the, the profile. I'm going to use 50 watts. And uh, that's, you see, I've changed everything I've just shown you guys. It's, it's basically ready for me to play games. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get Steam to work. Like I said, I, I, will, I will try to sort this out and try and get, uh, try and figure out what's going on with stuff. But I think, I think I understand what's going on. Because you see, the thing is, um, it's just my theory. I, I think what's going on is my, my laptop. My gaming, the laptop on this side, I think it's actually using the speaker because I, I um, well, you know, I, I don't know. Was, uh, there was a there was a time when I wanted to see if this could connect to uh, to the speaker, but it's saying it's not connected. Yeah, I'm, I'm just I'm just noticing my laptop saying it's not connected to my uh, to the speaker. Right. Okay. So that's a dead avenue. But I mean, I I will I will check on it later. The most important thing now is um, okay. So let me just let me just try for the last time. I just want to see what's going on. So it says volume is zero percent. So it's actually closed on there. You know what I think could be happening. I, I just have a theory that maybe. You see, it is it's it is recognizing sound. It is recognizing sound. I think this is the microphone thing. And then you see here, that's a microphone. So microphone is working, uh, but on this section, it's just it's got its own no output uh, device found. That's what it's saying. Um, I don't really know. You see, so it's all here, uh, but these are um, right. Okay, so I'm not going to bother myself with this. Okay, so. It, it seems like it it would allow me to use the dual sense. You know, you know what I'm thinking. For the sake of sound, just to get sound working, I'm gonna use the dual sense controller because I, I don't know if it does produce sound. I've never tried. You know, I've never tried to use it. But uh, for the sake of for now, and then later on, when I do figure out what's really going on, then I will try and uh, you know. Or it's saying default devices to use a default, right? So for output as device, I'm using DualSense because at the moment, like I said, I don't know what's causing the issue, right? I'm going to tilt you guys. This stuff is what you don't see in the background. That's what I use to overclock my Steam Deck. That is a uh, 50 watts. That's DualSense. That's my mapping from my DualSense controller. This is utilization. Just shows me like what's going on with the system unpacking of course if you understand that stuff resolution mobility mobility center normally i'll be controlling the volume and stuff and the brightness and all that stuff right so this is the stuff you never see my laptops over there uh and then here's the steam deck right so i'm going to i'm going to play a game on the steam deck like I said, sorry for the shaking, guys. If there's any shaking, sorry about that. Um, so I'm going to play a game. That's the Steam Deck right there. I'm going to play a game. And uh, on the game itself... Right, let me... Um, I'm going to play one of my... Oh, right, guys. So basically... Right, so I'm just going to put one of my channels there. This is my Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 5. Right, so basically I'm going to test a game. So I'm going to jump into a game. I want to play War of Us Frontiers. Oh, wow. <laughs> right, so I'm going to use a DualSense controller. I told you I use DualSense. And I want to play a game. Uh, the only thing that I'm doing on this... Right, wait, let me just stop this for now. I actually want to have AMD adrenaline. I want to have this adrenaline, but I'm going to put the adrenaline uh, onto my gaming monitor. 
uh just solely because i just want to get the end results later on you know when you get the results of everything else right so i'm, I'm going to show you guys what i'm doing here uh, so on the, here i've got the amd adrenaline and uh, just to show you that it does say um it's it's the all the information is right there so it does say radeon rx 670 graphics uh, 4 gigs of vram and it is a steam deck right uh so i just because this monitor is not connected to, it's not doing anything so it might as well have that and like i told you these are all the programs that i'm using on the steam deck right now for gaming right and not streaming from my laptop my laptop's not doing anything yes it's connected to steam but it's not doing anything in the background so i'm not streaming nothing so if i'm playing a game here then i'm playing a game you understand what i mean so let's uh let's get into a game let's play war robots frontiers i just want to see the performance i don't think there'll be much of a huge difference solely because uh war robots frontiers doesn't actually give me any problems anyway but like i said i just want to see um just for the sake of it um if there is a difference you know, I'm using a different driver. I'm not using the the, the modded, modified driver from Valve. I'm actually using the driver from. I'm using the driver from. Um, right. Let's see. I'm using the the other driver. So I just want to see. Come on, man. There's no sound. That's a pity. Right. So I I had changed it a bit. I just want to go into graphics and make sure it's on medium. This is on medium. Let's see. You see, it says AMD Software Adrenaline Edition Alt R. I don't know what that's for. Right, it's FSR 2, then performance. Uh, sharpness is 100%. Right, so when I jump into a game, it's a pity there's no sound, but I was supposed to be using this dude for sound. It's actually, it's, there's haptic uh, uh, vibration to this. It's, it's actually vibrating. I thought it was supposed to produce sound. But anyway, like I said, I just want to test the, the graphics. I want to see how it plays. I'm using my iPhone 12 to record, guys. Um, the other phone is actually uploading videos. Right, so one thing I'm going to tell you guys right now is that my, my DualSense is actually vibrating. There's no sound to this. You, you know, you know what it's doing. It's just vibrating, like the movement. Like you know, my robot's moving. This is Catalyst. This is a map for Catalyst. So basically, it's just vibrating. I, I wanted it to make sound, not to vibrate. So <laughs> you know, that's just weird. Uh, like I said, I will sort this out later on. I'll try and figure out what's going on. Uh, in terms of graphics, it's it's looking really good. I mean, it's, it is looking really good. Uh, it's not that bad. Okay, so this is uh, illumination. I mean, it's just a pity there's no sound because it, 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 uh, it really looks good. Uh, the way I'm looking at it, I don't know if it's, if it's going to reflect on the actual on the video itself. Oh my God, oh my God. Wow. Oh, damn. Yeah, they took out my uh, robot right uh going for the second robot uh this is raven it's got uh two lighters the lighters are flamethrowers and um yeah um i think i've got uh i think these are all cans two all cans right it's it's a bit disappointing i thought the dual sense was gonna be a speaker it's got haptic feedback i i think people might like that but i i don't really favor it i wanted sound I mean, it's it's it it's, it reminds me of the old days, you know, those uh, when when controllers used to have, uh, you know, when the controllers used to have that uh, vibrating thing. I think I think uh, the Steam Deck does have it, the vibrating and things when you're playing games and all that. But damn it, man! I'm 
I'm gonna get destroyed actually. There's two of them. Yeah. That guy had heavy weapons on him as well. You see he's got uh, I think those were Right. Um I think those were uh thunders. Thunders are shotgun weapons. Visually the game looks really good. I don't know if that's uh, coming across on uh, on the video, but I've got to say, video-wise, yeah, I mean, even the game itself, it's very clear. That's why I said on, on the sharpness itself, I mean, using, you can use the, um, what do you call this, you, you just use 100% on sharpness. The game itself looks really good. I mean, and this is a Steam Deck, you know, so... <laughs> Why, why, why I'm, I'm actually surprised that it looks good? Because, I, I mean, I was failing to play Call of Duty. Okay, Call of Duty does work. Call of Duty 3 does work. But it stutters a lot, you know. It's, it, 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 that's just one thing you, you kind of uh, notice straight away with Call of Duty, especially if you're playing the game. It's, um, there's a lot of stuttering on the, on the game. Especially when, when there's action, like if someone is attacking you. So those are the things that kind of find a bit de depressing. You know what? One thing I've just noticed, I think I'm missing weapons. Uh, well, not missing. I think I may have taken off some weapons uh, from one of my robots. Because I remember I used to have grenade launchers, like uh, weapons that fire grenades. And now I'm noticing, I, I don't know if it's on the other robot, because I do have a search robot that's also carrying five weapons. I don't know if it's just on that robot. Yeah, I think we're getting crushed here. These guys are, <laughs> you know, I don't know. What is this guy carrying? Oh, he's got three heavy weapons. Right. So, I mean, I'm just showing you graphic-wise, uh, the games look really good. Okay, okay, no, no, so I was mistaken. These are, the, that's, those are the grenades. You see, it's firing grenades. So, that's, those are the grenades I was talking about. Right, I, po I pulverized that, that robot. Right, so everything is working. But I just wish if I had sound. You know what I think is going on? I, I actually have, um, I actually have this, uh, what you call this, I've got the drivers. You know, um, you go to the Steam Windows Resources page, and uh, you can get all the drivers for um, for the USB, for the micro SD. Uh, you know, the drivers are all there. Uh, so I have, I think I've got audio. I just need to set them. So if I do set them, then I should be able to get uh, sound back. I mean, it's just, uh, it's like a I I N F file. You just have to install it. Well, I don't think I've got any robots left. Um, yeah, I've got no robots left. So, I don't know. So, what does he want me to do? Oh, spectating. Okay, fine. So, basically, I don't know if you guys see that, but these graphics do look good. All right, it's giving me another robot. Okay. Right, uh, let's see. You know, that's why I think with this game, you, you're definitely going to need a, um, uh, what you call this? You're definitely going to need a mouse. I mean, a physical mouse, because it, it's not, I'm not saying it's a bad game. You're just going to need a physical mouse, because a lot of the time, you see like there, I couldn't even select the robot with the gamepad. <laughs> I had to, I had to revert back to the physical mouse. Fortunately, my mouse is very close to me, so I, I could just get it out. Uh, this robot's got, um, I think I've got all cans on this one, and I, I, I have an a, a, a incinerator, which is a heavy flamethrower. Come on, vaporize this dude. He's got punishers on him. Oh, wow. Right, my Titan is actually now ready. I'm going to use my Titan. I told you guys you can actually choose your respawn points, uh, locations. So you can actually select it, but uh, like I said, use a physical mouse. If you got a Bluetooth mouse, wireless mouse, no problem. But make sure you've got a mouse in this game uh, because it, it does recognize your gamepad. I'm using a DualSense controller, but at the same time, it's just gonna be more beneficial if you've got a physical mouse. Right, 
Um, I, I, you know, one thing I'm realizing, I'll, I'll just, uh, I've got my, wait, let's see, can I, oh, wow, wow, what's going on, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, this guy is just attacking me, man, damn it, right, uh, right, <laughs> come on, this guy is just hit, you see? I had to resort to my laser. He's just attacking me. Ah, that's madness. Right, um, so he had punishes on him. He had uh, machine guns. Fortunately, fortunately, I think he may have, uh, you know the punishes, they, they do run out of uh, uh, ammo, and then you had to reload. So by the time he was trying to shoot me, I was able to go much higher than him. And then I was able to use my uh, my beam uh, from the mothership, so I was able to destroy him. Because if he had a full clip, he would have definitely destroyed me. That that would have been a pity, because I don't want to lose my. So what is this thing? Okay, right. Uh, the other problem also is trying to figure out what button, like what button uh, is for the missiles. You see? Oh yeah, yeah. The other, the other issue as well is that. Uh, oh my God, that's that's a Titan. Um, I need, I need, I need this. Uh, yeah, good, good. Yes, yes, that's a Titan. Wow, I got lucky there. Because you, you know the thing is, um, when I play this game on my laptop, yes, uh, the way I use the beam, like um, the, I don't know, I don't know why. But for some reason, on my laptop, it just recognizes the DualSense controller. So it just recognizes it as a gamepad. And I don't have to map anything on the gamepad. You understand? That's why I was saying, uh, for some people that have issues, you can just get DSX from Steam Store for $4 and map your gamepad. Well, the other team had more, uh, more they destroyed more or more of our robots. But basically what I was saying is, if, if you know what mapping is, it's just changing what the buttons do on your gamepad. And you can actually get that from the Steam store. And basically, like I said, um, right, uh, the, the, way, the way my DualSense controller gets recognized on the laptop means that I don't have to map anything. It's just plug and play. But on the Steam Deck, because I had a profile uh, associated with my uh, with war robot frontiers i think it's it just kind of wants you to use that profile you know every time you play the game uh because uh you it, your profile will be shared on steam community for other people that want to play war of frontiers you can always download your profile from the Steam community of uh war robot frontiers so every time when you play a game it's like it's counting the hours that you've used your profile you know, the more hours you use, the more popular your profile becomes, the more downloads people will download uh, your profile. So it's it's just like that. So it's just sharing and stuff. Right, guys? So I've shown you the game works. No issues. There's no problems with uh, how this game functions. Um, nothing at all. Right? So this goes up to about, what, uh, 70, is it? Is it 90? Someone 26 uh the only issue with this game is it doesn't uh give you like easy points you know it goes up to 70 so i'm on 26 i am on the diamond uh sorry gold league i'm going towards diamond then master so i did start on bronze silver now i'm on gold uh, but i'm very close to finishing it i'm actually on 968 out of 1500 so i just need about 500 points and then i go to diamond so these are the ranking right um apart from that uh the game is working really well uh i don't i don't i didn't notice much um the gameplay seems very smooth apart from that the game is fine i, I don't see any any issues I, i'm gonna load uh for the next video i'm gonna load call of duty 3 i want to test that as well i just want to see if there's any differences in that game